welcome to our family's farm. We have lots of sheep. Come on, let's take a look around. Can I have a kiss? <laughs> this is Dot. That's a border collie. Border, border collies are good at working with sheep and helping herd sheep. But Dot's not trained to do that. So she's just a fun dog to have around. So what kinds of sheep do we have here at our farm? Um, we have Columbia's, South Downs, and Natural Coloreds. What makes the Columbia's different from the South Downs? Um, Columbia's are shown for wool and meat, while South Downs are just shown for meat. And what are the natural colored sheep? They are sheep with the black. Yep, they have black wool, don't they? This is their feed. It has kernels of corn. It has oats. That's this little tiny piece right here by my thumb, the oats. Next to that, look here, there's a soybean. And then these little brown pellets, that's protein. Kind of like how we eat protein in meat, the sheep eat some protein too, and that helps them grow big and strong. The lambs need a little more protein than the moms do. When the lambs were little, we cracked the corn into smaller pieces, but now the lambs are getting big enough that they'll eat the whole kernel. And then after they're done eating their grain, they'll get some hay. These guys are getting their hay now. This is one of the hay fields that's next to the barn. The hay is baled and big square bales are put in the hay mow. They weigh 700 pounds. Some smaller bales are wrapped in plastic and stored outside. We also have straw. It's yellower than hay, and it's what the sheep use for their bedding. One of these types does get sheared before they go to a show, but the other kind, if you go to the fair and you see a dirty looking sheep, that's one of these guys. They can't get washed or it ruins their wool, and they're judged on their wool. But their wool is not all dirty. Let's see if we can find someone who will stand here for us. If you look inside, their wool, it's bright. And that's what the judge does. He parts their wool and he looks inside and the dirt is just on the very tips. And so some of the sheep, if they get judged on their wool, we can't wash them. And so they look dirty, but you saw that right underneath. It's nice and shiny and white. See, look how white that is. It's just dirty on the very, very tips. The wool stops the dirt from going all the way down to their skin. And then when we shear them, we can use that wool to make things. What do you call a sheep that is one year or younger old? A lamb. Yeah, what do you call them once they turn a year? A yearling. This is Ruth. Um, I got her in Utah. Just um, last year. Yep, for a national. How old is she? She is, oh, how old are you, Ruth? <laughs> are you checking her teeth to see how old she is? I can't tell. She won't let me open her lip enough. She's <laughs> about a year and a half old. Yep. Ruth. All right. Yeah. Ruth wants her hay. Let's get out and give her hay. What is a female or a girl sheep called? A ewe. Oh. And what about a boy sheep? A ram. How many lambs were born here from January until the middle of March this year? A lot. One hundred and. 40 of them. I know, it was so many. There were so many lambs this year. <laughs> yeah. So what is your favorite part about having sheep? Um, we get to travel all over.
over because it's national and it's really fun to see what other states look like. Visit natu- national monuments and stuff like that. What's something that raising sheep and taking care of them has taught you? Um, it's not always it's not always playtime. <laughs> it's not always playtime, is it? It's a lot of work, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But is it fun? Is it worth it? Yeah. Yeah. What's the hardest thing about raising sheep? Um, when they're untamed and kind of wild and you have to work and work and work and work with them. To make them tame. Yeah, that is hard. Thanks for visiting our farm.